Welcome to Dehydrate to Store. In this video, we'll teach you how to dehydrate watermelon and pineapple. Dehydrated fruits are a great snack to have on the go. They're lightweight, they last a long time in storage, and they're an excellent alternative to unhealthy snack foods like potato chips. So let's get started. We'll start with the watermelon first. I'll teach you how to dehydrate this, and then we'll do pineapple. Before you start, you always wanna wash your hands and wash your produce. For the watermelon here, we're going to cut this into slices. Now, you typically want the slices to be about a quarter inch thick to an eighth inch thick. I'll do a quarter inches here. You can decide how you want to cut them in triangles or, or, um, or strips. I typically like to do them in strips. I think that's uh, more fun, easier to eat, and kids seem to like that style as well. You can leave the seeds in if you want, or you can take them out. Watermelon, similar to honeydew or cantaloupe, should be dehydrated at 125 degrees Fahrenheit for about 16 hours. It will take a while, given that watermelon is mostly water, so if it doesn't appear dry after 16 hours, put it back in the dehydrator and keep going. So we've sliced the watermelon into one half inch by one half inch strips, one quarter inch slices, and one half inch by one half inch cubes. I've also taken an entire horizontal section of watermelon to see how that dehydrates. We're going to dehydrate this at 125 degrees Fahrenheit. Dehydrated pineapple is great because of the shape. You can cut it horizontally and make very large chips that are easy to carry around, bring to work, eat on the go. If you have a protein bottle or a blender bottle, for example, you can get the stacker version that has a container in the bottom. I like to put dehydrated pineapple cubes in the bottom of this to have at the gym. It's a nice sweet boost of energy that's healthy and low carb. When dehydrating pineapple, you have to decide how you want to prepare before dehydrating. You have two options. You can dehydrate the pineapple raw or you can boil it for a few minutes before dehydrating. You have to boil before dehydrating if you want to use the pineapple in gelatin. Pineapple as well as papaya contain an enzyme that breaks down gelatin. When you boil it, you denature that enzyme by causing it to unfold and fall apart in high heat. You'll have the option to core the pineapple if you wish or you can leave it in. All right, so I've cubed and sliced some of the pineapple. Now I'm going to steam half of the pineapple over boiling water for three to five minutes. The other half of the pineapple that's cubed and the slices, I'm going to dehydrate raw. And then you can compost the rest of the scraps. So that one pineapple filled two dehydrator trays. I've cut into slices at about a quarter of an inch and cubes at about one half by one half inch. All right, so the pineapple's ready. Let's take a look how it turned out. So the pineapple took about 12 to 15 hours to dehydrate at 125 degrees Fahrenheit, and the final product looks fantastic. These are the pineapple chips here. I like to leave the core in because it gives the final product a really nice appearance to me. It looks like a flower. You'll know it's dehydrated completely when the final product feels dry. It's not moist or overly soft, and they don't stick together. Your final product will click on the table when dropped, and when bent in half, can break or be torn in half. These are really delicious, awesome to have on hand, and to bring them to work or to use as a snack for kids. These are one of my favorite things to eat just on the go. Another thing you can do with these chips is before dehydrating, you can sprinkle cinnamon or maybe a little sugar or something on top to, you know, just add to the final product and be creative. Now, the next thing we have are the dehydrated pineapple cubes. As you remember, we left some of them raw and we boiled some. So these are the pineapple cubes that we left raw. Again, you'll note that these click when dropped on the table. They don't stick together or smoosh together. And the final product is dry to the touch. 
They're a little bit chewy, like a gummy, but still firm and not losing their form. These are the boiled pineapple. You'll note a few things right off the bat. The color is a lot different. Uh, the raw pineapple is a little bit brighter and the pre-boiled pineapple is a little bit darker in color and they're slightly harder, the ones that were pre-boiled, and they're also a little bit smaller. The reason you'd want to boil them beforehand is if you're going to use them in gelatin and the reason you'd leave them raw is pretty much any other reason. watermelons ready as well. These we dehydrated at 125 degrees Fahrenheit. These ones here took about 24 hours to fully dehydrate. Watermelon will have a big range depending on how thinly you slice it and how humid your environment is. So anywhere from 18 to 24 hours is about average. So let's take a look and see how these turned out. So we did a few different things. We did an entire horizontal section. What you might need to do if it's taking a long time to dehydrate is take the items out and flip them over and continue dehydrating. The final product should feel dry to the touch. It should not be moist or sticking together. And it can easily be folded and rolled. What I did before dehydrating an entire horizontal section like this is I just made a small slice in the rind just so the inner part would not peel away from the rind. We also have the dehydrated strips here. These are my personal favorite. I think they're easy to store. They look really cool when you put them in a tall mason jar and they're easy to snack on and eat like taffy. We also did some slices here. These are nice for kids to hold on to and eat just like they would a watermelon. I did leave the rind on just for appearance, but you could take that off if you want as well. And then we also made some cubes. These will be soft but not sticky or sticking together and you can eat these like you would a gummy. The nice thing about dehydrator trays by Excalibur is they do remove and you can bend and fold them to separate your items. There you have it, that was dehydrating watermelon and pineapple. For recipes on how to cook with dehydrated pineapple, please see our recipe section in our website and also our cookbooks. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel and we hope to see you soon.